Hello, welcome to Scientific Facts About Plants. Here you would listen here you would listen to scientific facts. Facts of plants. Did you guys know the bamboo tree? The bamboo plant is the fastest growing plant in the world. It grows about one to two centimeters every hour. That's cool, right? Did you guys know syrup, sugar, and glue and more things help plants grow? Glue helps plants grow. Imagine, do you guys know how seeds are made? The flowers on um, pollen get stuck to the bees, hummingbirds, and butterflies. And the butterflies take it to the pollen when they suck another flower's honey, not honey, nectar or something like that. And then the pollen, it gets into its pistol. The pistol. And then the pistol makes a new seed. And that's why, that's the reason why you see a bunch of plants over here. Did you guys know plants don't make the food for us? They make the food for themselves. We just take them away. Did you guys know if you look at a fat plant and if you rip it open, you will see something that looks like lotion and rub it all around your arms and your arms would be smooth. Did you guys know plants would never be green, black, or gray, or brown? Because those are not yet, those would look, those wouldn't look good on a plant. Did you guys know a bee sucks up plants, honey? Everyone knew that. Ha ha ha. I know you're curious of how plants make their own food. Plant how plants make their own food, they make you give them water, sunlight, and carbon dioxide, and the food goes. Did you guys know plants are like humans? A seed takes care of you. Like when you're a baby, uh, your mom takes care of you and gives you all the thing you need and the seed when the when the flower hasn't grown yet the seed takes care of the baby plant and the baby plant when the baby plant is mature enough to take care of itself then it takes care of itself did you guys know trees did you guys know the coastal redwoods or redwoods are the are the tallest trees in the world did you guys know giant sequoias are the widest trees in the world? They're so wide, people dig a hole in them and people use cars to go through them like in bridges. Did you guys know plants would plants give us oxygen? You want to know how plants give us oxygen? With all the food it makes, with all the food it makes, the oxygen that it doesn't need goes up the sea, goes up it goes down away from the leaves and it comes to us. Did you guys know there are little tiny holes, so tiny you need a microscope to see them under the leaves. And that's where the carbon dioxide and oxygen come in and out. Did you guys know sugar is the plant's food? I can't believe glue helps a plant grow too. Did you? Okay, I have a question for you guys. If you guys know about plants. What is it called? What is it called when a plant makes its food? Like it's going up its veins and stuff. Is it called a pro? I mean, um, pollination, B germination, or C photosynthesis? You'll hear the answer when we come back. Think of it. Hello guys, it's scientist Kevin Guardado here. For the people who can't find their glasses, I have the perfect message for them. The people who need the glasses, here are the best glasses ever invented. The Kevin, the scientist Kevin Guardado glasses. Wear them and you would look like a scientist. If you have the same shirt and the same shorts, or the pants, I mean, or shorts, whatever, then you people would think you're me. So get them at your, get them at Kaiser Permanent or any glasses. For example, Kaiser Permanent or Walmart. Get them now or you would be like that forever. Okay guys, we are back with the question. The question was, what is it called when the plant is making its food? A. Pollination, B. Germination, or C. 
photosynthesis? The answer was C, photosynthesis. Because when the plant makes its food, it gets sugar. And sugar, it's its food. And the oxygen comes out of those holes. Here's for the next question. The next question is, what is it called when the seed is growing? A, germination, B, seedling, or C, pollination. The answer was A, germination. Because, I don't know why it's called germination, but it's a weird name. Because, when the plant is growing, it's called germination. Here's for the next question, because our show's almost over. The question is, if a bee or a hummingbird or a butterfly gets the pollen of a plant and drops it off to a next flower and puts it on the flower's pistol, what is that process called? And that process is, when it's finished, it makes a new seed. What is that process called? A, seed, B, seedling, or C, pollination. That was a great hint because you heard the word, I'm not gonna tell you, but you would figure it out easily. Oh, it's a beautiful day. This is my house. Look at those flowers. See, flowers would never be green or brown or gray or black. The answer was C, pollination. You already know why, because you heard the heart of the word pollen in it, and then pollen in the pollination. But that's really the fact. Thank you guys for watching the Science Man Plot Facts Show. Don't forget to subscribe. Click this button where I'm pointing at to subscribe to my channel. And click the button on the side right there to watch my next fact show. Click it now. Don't forget these facts are true.